Welcome back everyone. So this actually just came out on X yesterday. Mark posted that basically Apple intelligence features have been somewhat delayed and they would not be coming in iOS 18. Rather, it would be a subsequent release in 18.1. And sure enough today, what do we get? The very first beta of iOS 18.1. And right in the description here itself, it tells you that the beta for Apple intelligence is baked in. I'll bet with a caveat we will talk about in a second. Let's go ahead, jump right into this video. Thumbs up, let us know how you like it, and comment down below what you are most excited for with Apple intelligence. Let's go. Okay, so iOS 18.1 beta one just finished installing here. As you can see at the bottom, I wanna go ahead and quickly give you guys the heat check because although this update did come in at only a little over 630 megabytes, uh, it took a long time to install, a lot longer than it traditionally. And you can see yet again, even with 18.1, we are getting up there in temperature. Not surprising again at this point, but I do just like to point that out for you guys to take a look at. First thing I do wanna go into is obviously one of the big changes finally we have down here, that new toggle for Apple Intelligence and Siri, and you can see all those rumors were true. You do have to join the wait list. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say join, and let's see what this says. Apple Intelligence, personal intelligence is integrated throughout your apps and experiences to simplify and accelerate everyday tasks. New tools to express yourself, enhance your writing, create personalized images, and express yourself in more ways than ever. A new era for Siri. Siri is more natural, contextually relevant, and personal to you. And groundbreaking privacy. We're going to say join waitlist. And you can see that that has now shown up there that we are in. So I'm going to set this down for now and go back just to actually jump into settings, general, about and show you the first version here and what that build number is and as you can see right off the bat unsurprisingly this has a p build if you're new to the channel or new to apple betas the closer to in a letter a or b or the beginning of the alphabet the closer it is to actually being a final build well unfortunately and again unsurprisingly p is probably one of the farthest out letters we've seen on betas in recent memory telling us that this will actually go through quite a number of betas before it is released we'll talk about a new release cycle and when a public beta will be with all these changes here in a little bit but total build number here is 22b 5007p and yeah like we said p signifies that there will be a long way to go let's go ahead and actually also jump into our battery so we'll go to battery battery health and okay unsurprisingly from last week our battery has not changed too much we are still sitting at 95 percent max capacity again keep in mind beta 1 2 3 and 4 for ios 18 did significantly hinder our max capacity i'm assuming 18.1 won't be much better but again to give you an idea 345 cycle counts with 95% battery remaining. Let's go ahead and actually also jump back into the Apple's intelligence and Siri list. And you can see right here, there are what I think are a couple of new options here. Messaging with Siri has always been there. Siri dictation, there's nothing there right now. Your information announce calls, a lot of this does look the same currently. Once we are actually able to get in this beta, we will have a much clearer idea of what's going on with some of these options. And unsurprisingly, again, as well, there are a lot of things actually missing from this beta. So for actual Apple intelligence here, it's easier to talk about what's missing than what is currently present. Uh, image Playground, that image AI uh, generational tool is not here. Genmoji is not here. Priority notifications are not here, and that's probably one of the biggest ones we've been looking for. When you actually swipe up and look at your notifications, it is a total revamp of how this looks with those, again, priority ones being on top here. None of that's here. Some of the key Siri upgrades like on-screen awareness and in-app actions, same thing, not here either. And unsurprisingly, chat GTP integration is not here either. 
what will be present once you're able to actually get in this beta and once you're in the waitlist and approved for access, which we just did, we're going to go ahead and jump in it and you'll see exactly what we're given. So as you can see here, the new Siri is actually going to be present. We'll go ahead and say continue. Actually, so as you guys can see here, you actually just getting you walking through it. Apologies here with that new graphical interface, very similar to that action button, which looks amazing. So you can press it to talk as we've already known. You can now type to Siri, double tap the bottom edge of the screen to type your request. And also now live, you can see here in this build is actually going to be some of those changes with actually those powerful AI writing tools, clearly the new Siri new mail features, automatic transcripts in supported apps like Apple Notes, uh, natural language search and photos. So let's go ahead and actually start right off the bat, hold it down and there is that new Siri look. And I have to say, look at how quickly that is actually picking up. Let's cancel it and let's do one really quick. How many medals does the US have in the Olympics? and you can see how that new search option looks. You have a feedback button here as well at the bottom to share any issues you might have with the attachments automatically added for you guys. We'll click out of that. You just saw us click on mail, not having some options there, and now you have a total new look or what should be a new look being added here shortly as well. Doesn't seem like that is actually showing just yet though. Let's go ahead and look in notes. What's on my screen right now? And you see it doesn't, it's not quite able to tell us all of that. I can say that this new look with those vivid accents around the edge of the phone is actually very, very, very visually appealing, unlike that old Siri logo there. Uh, so that's awesome. But again, contextual awareness on your screen is not surprisingly to be omitted. I am surprised to not see the automatic transcripts being supported yet, showing it, or the actual mailboxes, because that was what was told to us should be included here. Uh, in photos, though, also like we were saying, there should be now a way to search more intelligently here. Show me blue cars in a driveway. So yeah, you can see, kind of worked pretty well. Definitely understood it more properly. Let me do some ums and hmms to see if it does disregard those for a smoother search. Can you, what, how many cars are in a driveway? So it's still showing incorrectly there. It hasn't quite cleared up what you might want to find but hopefully that will come in future betas. Like we said, again, this is the very first one with any sort of Apple intelligence here. Let me go back to settings really quick and see if there's any other options that popped up. Doesn't look like it. But the good thing is obviously once you opt in for the beta, it seemingly hits your device pretty quick. You will get a push notification if you're not happen to be holding your phone, but this is awesome to see. So we're gonna do a whole bunch more digging. Thumbs up this video guys, stay tuned to the channel and get ready for Apple intelligence. Peace.